Senko, AP Physics Experiment Number 6, Hooke's Law and Conservation of Energy. Students investigate the spring constant of a launching mechanism and use the information to determine the landing position of a projectile. A spring launcher is provided so that different masses can be hung or a spring scale attached. Students measure the displacement of the spring from the equilibrium position. Once the spring constant and the stored potential energy of the spring are determined, students can use conservation of energy to determine a landing position. This lab teaches Hooke's Law, energy conservation, and kinematics of a two-dimensional projectile. The kit includes a spring launcher, wooden and plastic balls, catch cup, a 20 newton spring scale, required but not included are a triple beam balance, and a meter stick. In this activity, students are going to investigate the idea of conservation of energy with a spring-loaded launcher. There is a metric scale along the side, a stopper on the top, and a hook that you can pull down to release a projectile with. The hook is there so that you can easily measure the force in which you're pulling down the object with. The metric scale makes it easy to see the displacement that you're moving the ball in regards to its equilibrium position. It also comes with a brightly colored red and blue ball so when these are firing all over your lab, you can easily find them. Okay, one of the activities the students can do is to pull the plunger down and launch the ball straight up into the air. Depending on how high it goes, again, it's good to have a partner with this. Depending on how high it goes, students can determine the potential energy at the top, giving them the kinetic energy at which the ball was launched, giving them the stored energy in the spring, and therefore the work that you did in pulling the spring down. And using all that, they can determine the launch velocity of the projectile. You could also have them launch it horizontally, do the same procedure, but then have them predict, okay, based on the launch velocity you found before, where do you need to place a cup in order for it to catch the projectile? 